How to cook pan frying scrapple. Scrapple is a food of the Pennsylvania Dutch, and is also known as pan rabbit. Scrapple isn't made out of rabbit at all, but is instead pork scraps which would otherwise be thrown away, combined with cornmeal, wheat flour, and spices. It is a favorite food around the mid-Atlantic states such as Pennsylvania, Maryland, and Delaware. Scrapple is commonly enjoyed in sandwiches, with eggs, or topped on pancakes or waffles. Scrapple can be served either pan-fried or oven-baked. Ingredients Pan-frying scrapple one half loaf of scrapple, one cup, 110 grams of instant flour, salt to taste, black pepper to taste, one tablespoon, 14 grams of butter, makes four servings. Slice the scrapple into one quarter in 0.6 centimeters thick slices. Use a sharp chef's knife to evenly slice the one half loaf of scrapple. The thickness of the slices depends on your own preference, however thinner slices tend to cook more quickly. One, while one quarter in 0.6 cm slices are the most common, try one half in 1.3 cm thick slices if you prefer them to be a bit chunkier. For even thicker slices, try three quarters in 2 cm. Bear in mind that these will need to be cooked for longer though. Dip each scrapple slice into 1 cup 110 grams of instant flour. Pour the instant flour into a bowl and coat each slice fully in the flour. Dip each slice individually to make sure that every side is coated in instant flour. Season the slices with salt and pepper to taste. Use table salt and freshly ground black pepper to sprinkle over each slice. Make sure you season both sides of each slice. Heat 1 tablespoon 14 grams of butter in a skillet or a deep frying pan. Using a medium heat for the frying pan is the key to making delicious, crispy scrapple. Make sure that the butter has melted before you put the scrapple in the pan. Don't add too much butter to the pan, as the contents of the scrapple has enough grease. Too much butter will make the scrapple too oily when it has finished cooking. Since the scrapple in the pan will be producing grease, this makes it less likely to burn. Pan fry the scrapple slices for 3 minutes on the first side. Place each slice in the pan, and fry them until you can see the edges of the underside starting to look brown and crispy. Make sure that there is one half in 1.3 cm gap between each slice in the pan. The slices will stick together if they are cooked too close to each other in the pan. Flip over each slice and fry them for a further 3 minutes. Let this side cook until it is brown and crispy too. You may have to do several batches of pan frying the scrapple, depending on how many slices you are cooking and how big your pan is. The length of time that it takes to pan fry the scrapple depends on the thickness of the slices. Thin slices can cook in as quickly as 3 minutes, while thick slices may take up to 10 minutes on each side. Watching for the crispy edges and browning color is the best way to monitor how the scrapple is cooking. Remove the scrapple from the pan when it is brown and crispy. Once the scrapple slices are cooked, use a kitchen flipper to remove them from the heat. Place the scrapple on a plate, and make sure it is lined with a paper tower to absorb any extra grease. You could also use a frying fork to remove the slices from the pan if you prefer. Scrapple is best served when it has been left to sit for a few minutes on the plate first. Pan-fried scrapple slices are commonly served in sandwiches or with fried eggs, and leftovers can be refrigerated for up to one week. Tips Scrapple is usually enjoyed in sandwiches, alongside waffles or pancakes, or with scrambled eggs. Store uncooked scrapple in an airtight container in the freezer if you aren't ready to cook it just yet. It will last for up to three months. Things you'll need. Pan frying scrapple. Chef's knife. Skillet or deep frying pan. Spatula. Paper towels.